Hey friends, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to click on this one. We're gonna have a lot of fun in this video, continuing the series within the NHL, flying around the NHL cities, and you know, taking a look at the city, because that's important, it's educational, but more importantly, trying to find the arena that that specific NHL team plays in. So every single NHL team gets its own video. We've done all the Atlantic Division, so there's eight videos, eight teams already done. There's eight more to do coming up real soon on the channel in the next week, week and a half and that is the Metropolitan Division. We're starting with the New York Rangers in the division because, I mean, New York City, of all the cities, no offense to any of the other cities in the NHL, but New York City is, in my opinion, the greatest city in the world. I am not a Rangers fan, but I love New York City. I'm so excited to fly over the city and just kind of, you know, see it and have, you know, have some fun. I've been there, so I, I, I've seen Madison Square Garden from the outside, but... I've not flown over New York City in this game, so I don't know what the outside is going to look like. Are we going to find any Rangers logos, posters, graphics, anything like that? That's our goal here, is to try and find uh, Rangers-themed stuff on the outside of Madison Square Garden. We are in an F-18, and we are going to light this puppy up. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here. We're going to jump right into it. We're not going to waste any time here. I'm going to go full throttle, brakes off. Okay, we're going to take off pretty quickly. We're taking off from LaGuardia, by the way. Okay, we're airborne, gaining some altitude already. There it is. Way off in the distance there. I'm a little bit worried about the performance of my computer here. I'm trying to record this video at the same time I'm playing this on my computer. And with the amount of buildings and textures and renders that have to happen here in New York City, it's going to be a, it might be a bit of a, a choppy adventure, but that's okay. We're going to have some fun. Oops, wrong button. I zoomed out or zoomed in rather. So down below there, you'll see Central Park. And it is, uh, it's, it's pretty big and it's pretty awesome. If you've not been to New York City, you got to put it on your bucket list. So let's just take our time here. Already some glitches down a little bit low we're not going to look for uh mass square garden right away i'll try and show you as we go by it but we're just kind of we're just playing around here a little bit there it is over there actually you see that round building over there and we're just playing around we're just we're just exploring here for the first minute or so down here is is battery park off to the left is brooklyn bridge so the financial district is kind of down there in that area over here, we've got the Governor's Island, Statue of Liberty. I'll do a little bit of a tour around Statue of Liberty. You can barely see it there, but there, it's there. Okay, now we're gonna change our flaps a little bit. We're gonna decrease our throttle, try and lose a little bit of altitude. Do a kind of a slow approach over part of the city here. Okay, we need a little bit more throttle. We're still going, still going pretty fast, but yeah, okay, let's back off actually. Okay, so there it is. Look off to your left as I fly by it. Bottom left, there it is. Right down there. I didn't see anything at first glance. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll come back around and we'll take another look. And then we're gonna go into drone mode, take our time, do a methodical look over of the building and see what we can't find. Oh, I have stalled this plane. I have stalled this plane. This is, uh, this is dangerous. Afterburners had to kick them in. Oh, that was, that was very close. I was not watching my airspeed at all. There it is, actually, right beneath us. As I'm going to have to take another approach because I messed that one up. I was not looking at my instruments at all. Or my flight data. All right. So let's try this again. <laughs> Back down on the throttle. We're going to watch our airspeed here. I'm going to try and lose a bunch as I climb. Oh, she's, she's struggling. 
We are technically stalled right now. Again. That's okay. I almost wanted that to happen. All right, so there it is. Now we are going to get into drone mode here coming up. Just need to get the right airspeed so I can flare. Oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> this is not going to be good for when I go back in. I'm pretty sure I'm headed directly into that building. Okay. So, insert. There it is. There's Master Square Garden. Now we're in drone mode. This is technically the back of the arena, so I'm not expecting too much back here. But I've got my eyes peeled for something. Oh, I see something already down here, actually. What's that say? Something Broadway, maybe? The Broadway? The... I'm not sure what that says. That's, yeah, it's too hard to see. Now, these maps are quite outdated as we've learned as we've gone through some of these teams so far in some of these cities. I know two of the two, two of the cities in the Atlantic Division they didn't even have the, the arena there for those specific teams. I'm not going to tell you what those were just in case you haven't watched the previous ones. I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, this is technically the front of the building over here. And I don't see anything. Not, a, not even a sign that says Madison Square Garden. Nothing. Which is quite disappointing because you think of all the cities in this game, the majority of people would likely try and fly around New York City because it's one of the most incredible cities in the world. So why not put a little bit extra effort into making it as realistic as possible and using some kind of updated maps better than what's on Bing or better than you know what's maybe available at first hand or trying to fix the textures yourself and adding the detail yourself manually. I don't know how it works. I just, I don't know. I'm disappointed here. There's not a single piece of signage. There's no posters. There's no logos. There's no graphics. There's nothing. Very disappointing, actually. Quite disappointing. I believe this building right here is the post office, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that's the, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the post office. I've, I've been to New York technically three times. But I've only really spent a lot of time in New York twice. Say, like, look at this building over here. I have no idea what this building is. It looks like a parking garage, but there's a sign on the side of this. But like, come on. What's that even say? Something about leased? Leasing? Secure? Who knows? Who knows? Let's go out of drone mode. Babe, this is going to be so bad. This is going to be so bad. We've got a failed mission here. We didn't find anything on the arena. But I need to get my airspeed up here before I pop back into this. I need... This is going to be... This is going to be so bad. I'm not going to be able to pull out of this. I'm going to let it gain as much airspeed as possible. I wonder if... I can change the flaps a little bit. That's going to hurt me, I think. Based on the... I don't know. Let's... Let's go for it. How am I going to do this with one hand here? Oh, did you see that? That was so unbelievably close. That was unreal. Wow, I thought for sure I was done. Okay. Super happy about that, actually. I really didn't want to have to reset this. We're going to try and take a high speed pass over the entire city. But first, we're going to do two things. We're going to do three things. I'm going to fly under some bridges. We're going to do a high speed pass, high speed pass of the city. And then we're going to do an inverted pass of the city. At least that's the plan. Whoa, apparently I touched the water there. Didn't feel like it. Why is my, yeah, my landing gear came down automatically. Not what I wanted. All right, so just bear with me. I'm gonna get some altitude here. I'm gonna get some speed. And we're gonna kind of swoop down a little bit and do a uh, high speed pass of the city. Probably doing roughly, hopefully 700 knots.
Okay, so we didn't get up to as, as fast as I wanted to. But we're doing about 750 knots now, which is above the uh, sound barrier. We've broken the sound barrier. We're doing Mach 1. We're going to start our dive here. We're going to pick up some, some significant speed, but it's going to drop off um, a little bit as we go down. Once we get into more dense air, but we're coming down basically directly towards the city, doing 950 knots. We are cooking 970 knots. We're going to start to slow down here. Yep, we're starting to slow down. We're losing a, quite a bit of altitude. I'm going to start my pull up. We're still doing over 800 knots. We are going faster than the speed of sound right now. Seven hundred and thirty knots. I think that's still faster than the speed of sound. And it doesn't look that fast, maybe because I'm zoomed in a little bit. Oh wow, that whoa, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was. Oh, I zoomed in and it messed everything up. Oh, apparently I'm still. Apparently I'm still flying. Um, hey, that was. That was 100% a fail. <laughs> Let me restart. Okay, so <laughs> we are back in the F-18, back at LaGuardia. We're going to take our brakes off. We are going to get full throttle with, uh, with afterburners for this takeoff. Landing gear up. We're going to change our flaps, actually. We're going to switch our view. Back to this, this may get a little disorienting for you because what we're going to do is an inverted uh, pass of the city. And I'm going to look this way basically as we go by it. It's going to be a little tricky, it's risky, and it might not work, but we're going to try it. So if you get a little queasy, I apologize in advance, but here we go. Let me, I got to set up here. It's going to take a little bit of maneuvering. Okay, hold on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get over where I want to be. One second. It's not working as exactly like I wanted to. I'm going a little fast. Not working exactly like I wanted to. Check that out. Try and zoom in a little bit. Not much to see right there, man. Okay, I'm disorienting myself actually. I don't even know where I'm looking anymore. Yeah, I want to be over there. Yeah, I'm totally disorienting myself. We gotta, we gotta do this again. Was a little close okay we're gonna change things hey how come my flaps changed again see that's one thing i don't like about this game that's one thing i haven't honestly really looked into that much is the automatic systems the safeguards like sometimes the landing gear if i get too close to the ground it'll just come it'll just you know it'll deploy it'll come on i don't want that so i need to look into the settings at some point and try and figure this stuff out but i'm still relatively new to the game played lots of flight sim games in the past just not this new one so our flaps can come up a bit for right now I do want to fly slow so I need to start my turn It's really hard to fly this plane slow. It wants to fly fast. It doesn't like to be flown slow. I 
your rudder is so unresponsive when you're flying upside down. <laughs> like I'm just constantly turning the wrong way. And I gotta adjust here. So killing myself. Just give me a second. All right. Here's the good stuff right here. Okay, maybe not. Can we save it? We can save it. Okay. Well, this has been a pretty useless video as far as the Madison Square Garden, but we did some flying around the city. We were up to some nonsense. We had some fun, I guess. Some mostly fails, actually, in this video. Mostly fails. A little, a little disappointing. But there's only one thing left to do now, and that is to try and attempt a landing. We're going to land back at LaGuardia and the same runway that we took off of, hopefully. I'm not even sure which one I took off of. But let's bring the landing gear down. Let's cut the throttle. Let's find the airport. Okay, there is the... Okay, there it is. I see it. It's actually flashing for me a little bit. I'm going to start my approach now. Flaps all the way extended. We're going to lose some altitude, lose some airspeed. I'm doing about 360 knots. You can see it off into the distance there. I do not know what number this runway is. We don't want to get below 250. That's kind of the uh-oh zone. I'm going to give a little bit more throttle. Try and hold it around maybe 260-ish. I think this runway at LaGuardia is not long enough for me to stop in time. So I'm a little I'm a little concerned about that. <laughs> the brakes don't seem to work that well. Oh, look at that football field down there. It's cool. Brakes don't seem to work that well. Here we go. We are on perfect approach for this runway. Airspeed is a little hot, but the, again, this plane does not like to fly slow. The landing in Florida was a little sketch. We had to crab in, but the, it ended up ended up being a good landing. Yeah, we're getting a little bit too slow here now. But I might have to risk it for the biscuit. Yeah, we're too slow. We're gonna stall. We're gonna stall. We're still on a good approach. Watch our airspeed. Okay, I'm gonna cut throttle completely right now. Throttle is gone. We are gliding. One down. Oh, I wanted to touch a lot sooner than that. Brakes. I don't think I have reverse throttle. That was kind of a hard landing, but. It wasn't too bad. I, I came down quicker than I wanted to, but I was a little bit worried I was going to ru run out of runway, so I wanted to get down quick. Oh, am I not going to make it? I'm slowing down pretty good. I'm slowing down. I'm just slowing down pretty good. Let's get off this runway here. Let's taxi off. Put on some brakes again. All right. There we have it. Overall, a bit of a fail. I did fly under a bridge, but I technically hit the water, I think. Uh, we didn't find any logos or New York Rangers, nothing on Madison Square Garden. So that was a fail. I struggled with the overhead and in inverted flying. I just couldn't get it. Apologize. That was a fail. What else? The landing was a success, I guess. That was the only real success. But uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around for this entire video. I appreciate it. If you guys like these videos, um, make sure you hit the like button. Obviously, these these videos don't they haven't seemed to be getting a lot of views, but the feedback, the comments have been overwhelmingly positive on these videos. So I thank you guys so much for enjoying these. I love aviation and flying and gaming and uh, obviously hockey. So these videos aren't work for me. They are so enjoyable. I love doing these. So and there's been lots of comments actually recently. You know, when you're done with the NHL, can you do the NFL? Can you do the MLB? Can you do the NBA? Absolutely. 
I will absolutely do those. I, that's really exciting, actually, that there's been lots of requests for that. So I will I will definitely do that. We'll have some fun there. But first, we're definitely, definitely going to do the NHL. So if you want to see me do the rest of the teams in, in the NHL and you're not subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And there's also a playlist set up as well called Aviation on the channel. Just go check it out. And you can see all these, these videos just in one spot instead of trying to go find it, look, look around and stuff. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Next, we're doing the Islanders. So... We might actually take off from LaGuardia again. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're going to do the Islanders next. So hope you can tune in for that one. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Adios.